Okay, hey everybody. So I usually post pictures of my food once it's done. Um, but today I'm making something a little bit different and I'm excited to make it. Um, it's called a skirt steak pinwheel and it has parmesan cheese, lemon zest, fresh parsley, and of course the skirt steak. You do a little salt and pepper on the steak and then um, here's what they look like. So I already did that part of seasoning it. I actually added a little bit of minced garlic as well. Hold on, Jaden. Hold like that. I added a little bit of minced garlic as well. Um, but it's very simple, like I said. Um, on top of the Parmesan cheese, I opted to put a little bit of provolone cheese as well. I like cheeses, so I'm going to demonstrate right now. I have my kitchen twine. I'm going to demonstrate uh, rolling one of these pinwheels up. We're going to wrap it in twine and then um, I'll show you what we do from there. We'll make sure we get all the seasoning. I've let this sit out for about 15-20 minutes so that the meat gets room temperature, a little bit more colder than room temperature, um, so it cooks more evenly. So I'm going to start here and of course my hands are nice and washed before we start the video. I'm going to start rolling it up and then after I cut it I'll show you guys what it looks like in the center and of course how we are going to cook it. Don't do that. And I got Jaden, my little buddy, my son, videotaping for me. So right here I'm going to start with the twine. Let me get, um, just keep that on there Jaden. Let me get wash my hands again before I touch the twine and the scissors. Hola. Let's <laughs> put the towels here. Okay, so um grab the scissors. So we're gonna do one piece on one side. Do you have a good view of it, Jaden? Huh? Yeah. So we're going to do one piece on one side, right here, wrap it nice and tight, and cut it off again, okay, and then we're going to do another piece on the other side here, same thing, we want to wrap it up nice and tight. so that it doesn't come apart when we're cooking. Uh, also being that this is so thick, what we're going to do here is I got to grab my knife. Push it up a little bit, please. Just like that, okay? Okay, I'm going to grab my knife and I'm going to do a nice cut down the center. And hopefully we get what we're looking for, yes. So now we have um, two nice pinwheels here. Okay. So before I do the next one, I'm actually going to uh, start my oven over here. Just wait a sec, Jaden. A second. Wash my hands. I mean, I did not flatten the steak anymore. Might have been a better idea to use a meat pounder, pound it down a little bit more thin, but we'll see how it cooks up. So I'll take this over. So there is what the pinwheel looks like uncooked. Again, we have lemon zest, we have parsley, we have Parmesan cheese, some salt um, that I put on the steak first to tenderize it a little bit. And we have some pepper, and that's it. So, just give me a sec, Jaden. So now we're going to bring this over onto the stove. Have a little bit of butter in the pot. Okay, wait. We're going to heat this up. I got it. 
Jaden, you could do it in a sec. Hold on. All right, so we're going to heat this up so we can sear the pinwheels, which are patiently waiting over here. We don't want to burn the butter, but we want to make sure that it's hot enough that we can get a nice sear on both sides. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with this one first. Get a nice sizzle. Move it around a little bit. Careful not to burn myself. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next one here. Put it on the hot part. Move it around, push it down a little bit to get a nice sear. Okay. So, obviously one side of it is going to be a little bit more not flat, but that's okay. what we can there. Okay. Rinse my hand off. I'm going to turn down the heat on that. And I'm going to flip it over. Look at that. I love to cook. It's one thing that I must admit. So, so far, this is what we have. We have a nice sear on this side, golden brown. And we have our little pinwheel. Okay. And just gotta cook that a little bit. Again, I did lower the heat. And I'm going to add cover on that and let that sit in there and simmer a little bit to cook and then I'm gonna roll this one up. Jaden, you wanna take this again? Okay, come back over here. Okay, lift it up a little bit and we're gonna do the same thing to the next one. This one's a little bit thinner. And make sure we have all our seasoning on it. This one's a little bit thinner and it's also has a little hole in it because I was trying to get some of the mus uh, muscle tissue out. Make sure we get all this goodness in there. Looks like cheddar cheese, but it's finely shredded uh, lemon zest. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get the string again. And I got to cut this piece off because. This one. So get one piece here. Put it up nice and tight. Again. And then we're going to get another piece. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Tie it up nice and tight. Cut the extra string. Once again, the reveal, I'm going to cut right down the center, I should have used a better knife, this one's a little more tough, but all in all, a little more tough. Another pinwheel here, so I'm going to bring this plate over again, that one's already searing up here, we're going to do the same thing, it's already nice and hot, so we're going to take our Next two pinwheels, and I'm going to do the same thing in here. Put these babies down, sear them up a bit in the hot pan. The other ones are coming along very, very nicely. Careful, it's getting very hot. Careful. A 
we'll cook those up and see how it goes. So these are our pinwheels. Cooking nicely. Nice sear on them. And uh, thank you for watching my video. I can't wait to eat. These are going to be scrumptious. Um, they're served basically, you just take this string off and you cut it right down the center and it falls apart into two pieces. Nice and tender and juicy. I'm going to lower this down a little bit. I like mine a little bit, uh, a little bit well done, but you can cook it as long or as much as you'd like. Again, just making sure to sear it to keep in the juices and um, experiment with different seasonings. Obviously I cook a lot so I don't mind touching the hot grease but um, thank you for watching my video. Leave any comments that you want here and have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Thanks Jaden.